look at the sun beaming down on those panels definitely an opportunity to look at a solar charge controller and here's the one I've chosen or at least it's one of these three this seems to be a bit of a generic box um, it's the CPY 2410 it has USB some sort of temperature monitoring and it's 12 or 20 volt auto switching and inside the usual thing and a very very brief manual talking about MPPT so this is a claimed MPPT solar charge controller yeah so this has uh, automatic 12 or 20 volt maximum 99% MPPT efficiency we'll see about that I've got the 10 amp version and uh, it's caressing no load current is 10 milliamps or less than 10 milliamps it says here 275 grams and uh, well it's that big so getting it out of its protective wrapping here it is and uh, yeah this is made by UEIUA and uh, it well it's got a familiar look to it hasn't it well yes it looks familiar because it shares quite a few of the component parts here certainly these terminals here uh, with previous um, solar charge controllers um, and this is the CMD uh, range of solar charge controllers and uh, the original of these had the very similar LED uh, arrangement on them this one's got a uh, LCD display but many of the sellers on eBay sold these as PWM solar charge controllers and they're not. They're simple switching solar charge controllers. So uh, it does beg the question whether this is truly MPPT. But it's also worth comparing it with this other cheap MPPT solar charge controller. Um, now a number of these symbols are corresponding as well. This is obviously the symbol of an inductor trying to uh, tell you that it is MPPT and that is truly happening there is some DC to DC conversion going on inside these items and of course on the previous video I proved this one well it really is MPPT now in previous videos I've used these cheap watt meters to uh, check uh, whether these are really doing MPPT and the, a rough idea on the efficiency of that conversion well I've had a few questions in the past to ask about the accuracy of these cheap meters and uh, that's a fair comment so this time round I'm going to use something different. Now on this occasion I'm going to use two of these Porter Power premium USB and DC power monitor um, monitors here. These seem to be an awful lot more accurate, they're self-powered and uh, they'll show us the, the watts being transferred, the uh, voltage and the current so hopefully these will do the job quite nicely. So with both meters attached to this small lead acid battery here, uh, they're both showing 12.52 volts, so uh, they're in agreement there. But it is worth mentioning that as I pull 1.71 amps through here, we can see there is a little bit of a voltage drop here. Uh, we're seeing 11.1 volts here, and uh, just under 11 now, on the left hand meter so there is a bit of a voltage drop on this cable between these two meters when we're pulling current here we are then let's get the battery plugged in um, there we go um, 12.3 volts on that battery I have discharged it pretty well um, and first things first um, the load light is on how you turn off the load well I've no idea really I guess that must be a voltage thing because there's no buttons on here there's no solar coming in because I haven't connected anything uh, the battery indicator is showing half charge two out of three um, this unit is drawing uh, 40 nearly 50 and climbing it seems uh, 50 milliamps of power which is above what it said in the manual in fact it's five times what it said in the manual and it is still going up oddly 
And the other strange thing is that we're seeing 3 volts, 3.3 volts over here on the solar side as if some voltage is leaking across um, here, which is very peculiar. But I think we need to get some solar in here now and on this connector here I have two 50 watt monocrystalline panels in series so the uh, open voltage is about 42 volts and the maximum power point is about 35 volts as claimed on the manufacturer's sticker on the back of them uh, so let's plug that in and we can see this has gone straight up to 40 0.7 volts here and uh, so far nothing is happening the solar light is oh there you go just come on so there is solar being recognized by the charge controller although that's just gone off again and here it is a fast rapid led and we've got one uh, amp coming in at 38 volts and that's producing two and a half amps at 14.5 volts so this battery voltage has been brought up very quickly we've got 40 watts on the input 39 watts on the output that's looking pretty good there is a slight delay on these screens so trying to capture them at roughly the same time is quite difficult uh, but it's definitely doing DC to DC conversion uh, we've got the 44 watts here 39 40 watts on this side and what's more the panels aren't far away from that published uh, maximum power point 38 volts I've been watching these for a little while now and I'm getting an average of 43 watts on the solar side and that's equating to about an average of 40 watts on the battery and that makes a average conversion of about 93 percent so uh, that's not too bad I'm quite reasonably pleased about the efficiency and while we're getting some nice power coming in let's have a look at this USB port on the front we're getting 4.94 volts there I'm drawing one amp on my uh, DC load here and uh, I think it's worth testing a bit higher um, let's get up to two amps there we go two amps there exactly and it's keeping 4.8 volts there on the output well that's within spec um, and that's uh, a useful USB output now you'll notice that the solar LED has uh, slowed its blinking here and uh, the panels are closer to their open circuit voltage and we're bringing in less current. It does seem to be regulating the panels down here because we seem to have hit a float stage here, 13.9 volts here on the battery and that current is reducing slowly. And uh, that answers the question really because it doesn't mention in here anything about a uh, float voltage or equalization voltages or anything like that. Just voltage of stop charging is 14.7 volts. So it looks like it's regulating at about 13.9 volts, um, which again, possibly a little bit high for this AGM battery. Now I don't know about you, but I want to see inside. And it's the usual thing, just four screws on the back here with the heat sink, one under this quality control sticker. So there we have it. And uh, that's what we want to see, isn't it? A decent sized inductor there. And in fact, there's a silk screen on the PCB here for a second one. I know you can get this in 20 amps. So presumably that requires two inductors. 15 amp fuse here which seems to be on the load output another small inductor here that could possibly be for the 5 volt rail uh, that thermistor there at the top in that hole um, and it's a microchip 
U E four eight double one six five one two electrolytic capacitors here on the input 220 microfarads 63 volts uh, now i can't remember off the top of my head whether what the maximum solar input was for this uh, solar charge controller we'll have to check the listing uh, the mosfets there on the back of the board as they typically are uh, bolted to this heatsink uh, so there's three t20 packages here at the bottom and another three up here at the top for various different things uh, but it seems reasonably well made it is fused there are some low value resistors for current sensing um yeah do you know what i'm pretty impressed so that's the UEIUA CPY2410 MPPT solar charge controller. And except for the fact that it probably is charging some battery chemistries a little bit high, I think this is a pretty good unit. It's the sort of thing where you plug it in and you forget about it. There's nothing you can change on this. There's no parameters you can change. You can't even turn the load on and off. But it has a handy USB output, which actually I tested to 2 amps, and I've just read here that actually it's only rated to 1 amp. So if you're interested in one of these, I'll leave a link in the description below. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, comment if you can, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.